Good morning, everyone. Uh, here in Munich is morning, so good morning. But if it's evening, good evening. Uh, just wanted to update you about uh, the last update <laughs> of uh, Adobe Photoshop 2021 that wiped out all my plugins. I think they did a great thing. So uh, now it's uh, a native. There is a native compatibility with this new processor M1. But if you are like me, that uh, okay. I don't care so much about special function of Adobe, so I just want to do some editing. If you follow my guide, uh, I will put a link of my guide. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot do a step-by-step -step guide because I need a, a fresh computer to do that, and I don't have a fresh computer. Uh, once I find a fresh computer, I will I will try to do a step-by-step -step guide. But I did a step-by-step -step guide. I wrote it in. Um, in Reddit, I put a link also in the description below, so you can follow the procedure with uh, with the link. Uh, about the last news, the, the last surprise from Adobe. Uh, so what, what's happening is the following thing. Two days ago, Adobe released the M1 processor version of the Adobe Photoshop. And that means fantastic, but there is a caveat also here. And uh, the plugin doesn't work. Actually, all third-party plugin don't work in this new version. So um, what happened to me is so, uh, usually you open the Photoshop and you have available the selective tools and uh, filter. And I can show you also what happened to me this morning. I, I opened the version, I realized there was the update. I wanted to edit one, one picture. And as you can see, there is no selective tool. And this, if you go to filter, there is no Nick collection, completely disappeared. And I said, what? And um, well, I realized that, um, yeah, the M1 version is just not compatible with the third, third part uh, plugin. So every uh, company that released a new plugin is to create a new version, basically, for the M1 processor. But if you are like me and you want to continue using this, it's it's pretty straightforward how to enable those, uh, those plugins. And I can show you go and the folder where the application are and you need to go to the application that you want to run the plugin with click on the right button you can see get info or other languages like informazione for italian and i don't know for other languages informazione i don't know for german <laughs> maybe anyway you got to get info and there is this uh, windows appearing here and then da, 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 there is opening using Rosetta and you just uh, enable that. Once you do that, as you can see, you can open again the beautiful Adobe Photoshop and ta -da! you can see that, uh, yeah, the selective tool is there, but of course the selective tool is in the other screen. It's here, look, and that's it. And you can see under filter, there is a there is Nick collection and also other plugins are enabled. Uh, the only problem you might encounter is that you don't find the old version. So if you have an old computer, so if you, if you listen to my video, you will understand what I'm saying. If you have an old computer, it might be possible that um, you don't find uh, the files. Uh, just use a research button to, to, to find one of the plugins, for example, Color FX Pro or something else. And you will see that they are maybe hidden in some directories. And um, my solution works only for the, the people that installed the, uh, the version, the DXO version uh, of the plugin Nick Collection, not the old Google one, because I, I don't have this version, the last version of Google. So if you if you it, it happened that you have a machine that um, was uh, was running uh, the the Nick Collection for the, the Google version of Nick Collection, it might be a different procedure you need to follow. So what you need, the requirement, you need to have the, the, the XO version of the old plugin for Nick Collection. So in this case, the 2012 one. So in this case, it's uh, my, my, let's say, step-by-step -step guy works. Uh, I hope this helps you. And uh, yes, I had a bad morning because I, I, I plan to, to, to edit some picture and well, I need this um, Nick collection to do that because I like some some of the other plugin stuff. And um, yeah, 
I hope that uh, that helped you to, to have a better morning <laughs> or a better time and happy editing and uh, please subscribe to my channel I will come back with the contents I hope to be a little bit more active in this channel especially to something about editing and business because I mean everyone is passionate about photography I don't know um, I, I guess you are you're listening this uh, because you are passionate about photography and what uh, my intention is also to, to share my day-by-day uh, -day learning and how to enhance your business activity with photography and also how to learn uh, new things new cool things that you can propose to your customer um, that's it so see you in the next video and have a fantastic and beautiful day or evening or night uh, wherever you are see you next time at standby pics bye and subscribe don't don't forget click the button and the, the bell also the bell there is a bell otherwise you will you lose my updates. Ah, see you guys. Bye.